welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. I have never done one of these before so I thought why not? Also in this video I'm going to be using a ton of Laura Mercier products. I posted on Instagram if you guys wanted to see me use a lot of the Laura Mercier products that I have and you know the ones that I've been really loving. And a lot of you were interested in that so that is what we're doing today. Just kind of sitting down casually talking about makeup and life and whatever that pops into my mind <laughs> so anyways yeah this is the look right here perfect for fall something really really easy to do it's like this really kind of grayish brownish smoky eye that's not too crazy you can totally wear this for every day and then of course kind of like a plumish berryish lip color <laughs> to go with the look. So anyways, if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so a lot of the products I'm going to use today are from Laura Mercier. A lot of you really wanted me to kind of test it out on video. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't have everything Laura Mercier. I don't have any brow products, um, mascara, and uh, liner. So I'm going to use different things for that. Oh, and also a under eye concealer um, that I can use. So I'm just going to use whatever I already have. So first thing I'm going to do, I've already moisturized my face. So the first thing I'm going to apply is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I have the oil-free one. Um, they do have a ton of different kinds, which I think is so nice. Um, you know, it just depends on what kind of skin you got. So yeah, I'm just using the oil-free one. Apply it all over the face. So this product is really good. Now I believe I mentioned I've never done a chit chat video before. So this is my first time actually like getting ready and talking to you guys. So bear with me. <laughs> also maybe like next time we can do different topics. Like you guys can tell me what topics to talk about next time. I think that would be nice. Just grabbing some baby wipes here because I don't know, be between application, like whenever I do use my hands, I have to wipe my hands. I just don't like getting like residue and other products. Okay, my lips are kind of a little dry here, so I'm going to apply some lip gloss or lip balm. This is from Dior. Okay, so anyways, I think my primer is pretty good so we're just gonna go jump into foundation now this is um, a really really good foundation this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation I have it in the color Dusk and I think it's a little a little too light for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this with the Giorgio Armani foundation that I have because this is a little too dark for me at the moment I have it in the color number 8 I mean it's not too terrible like I'm not like ghostly white with this on but you can tell that it is too light for me so we got some on the face I really do like this um, foundation because it's very long lasting and it does a great job on keeping me oil free all day so, oh, yeah anyways as you can see there this is like I think this is really my color but if you've been following me for a while now you know that I like to go a shade lighter than what I really am. Just a shade lighter. Um, I don't like my foundation too dark or exactly my shade, if that makes sense. So, I just dotted a little bit of that to mix into, to mix in with the Laura Mercier foundation. Okay, now to blend this all in, I'm using my Artiste palm brush. This stuff is amazing. I love this brush. It is totally my go-to and we're just gonna go in circular motions very lightly with this. I feel like my face looks so much lighter on camera, but in person, it's seriously the same shade as like my neck and like my shoulder. This is weird. Okay. Anyway, let's get on to chatting. I'm not very good at this because usually when I do you know, makeup videos, I usually just do voiceovers or I talk about the products. I never really like chat about things because I really don't know what to talk about, to be honest. Like, um, today 
I clean the house. <laughs> you guys know I stay at home. Um, and I work from home, so I make YouTube videos, I make stickers, um, and you know, I'm a housewife, so it's just what I do. I keep busy. Someone's gotta keep this house clean, you know? I do go shopping from time to time. Not a whole lot, just because, you know, we like to save money. <laughs> but I've been working around the house lately, like, um, revamping rooms and finishing off rooms, really. Um, because there's still a lot of things to do in this house. So anyways, this is the foundation. Look how good it looks. I love it. This gives you a really good um, finish. And then, oh my gosh, this though, the Luminous. I love that. I always get compliments whenever I wear that because it really looks like skin. And I really like it mixed together. I love this finish. So I do have some dark spots that I need to conceal. But I'm not going to conceal it because I want to... I don't want like a full coverage makeup, you know what I mean? Okay, I also said earlier I don't have any concealers from Laura Mercier, so I'm just gonna use the Touche Claw from YSL for underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna use this brush to blend it out. So we just want a little bit of brightness under the eye. So, anyways, I cannot believe that it is already September, y'all. Summer is coming to a close. I am stoked about decorating for fall. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I've already kind of started actually. Um, you'll see in the vlog that's going up. I have shopped recently for like pumpkins and I'm so excited y'all. I have big plans for the outside, like the front porch for decor. I'm so excited. Let me know if you guys would like to see a house tour for fall. I did one last year and a lot of you seem to really like it. So I'm thinking of doing it again this year just so we can see the difference that I do. Like maybe I decorate things a little bit more different, you know what I mean? So yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, I'm really into decorating for the house at the moment. so. Love it. Anyways, this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just getting a little bit on the cap here so I can use it. I'm going to go ahead and set the under eye right away just because I don't want it to crease in the corners. So I'm taking this. I'm not really baking by the way. I'm just lightly dusting around the eye there. Because I do crease in those spots. Alright, so for the brows, I'm going to go off camera and do them really quickly. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel and the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number 3 and 4. Now the brows are done, we're going to do the eyes. I'm just going to do something really, really simple. I got the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color Pencils and I have here six of them and they're all like similar colors are all in this neutral shade um so what i'm gonna do today actually i wanted to do something a little bit smokier than usual because you guys always see me in like um neutral tones or like something natural so i'm gonna do something smoky i'm gonna take the color cocoa actually this is the darkest one i have on here this is like a darker brown shade Let's see like this look how pretty that is it's so pigmented i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the lid, I hope you guys can see. Just like that. And don't worry, we'll blend it out with our fingers. Yes, our fingers. So anyways, what were we saying earlier? It is fall, you guys. I am so excited. Usually I'm not, but I am. I, I guess I am done with uh, summer and all that. I really do love holiday seasons. And September is a good month, too. Um, my birthday is coming up. Also, I have a trip coming up. I'm so excited. My niece is turning two right after my birthday. Her birthday is like the day after mine, which is so cool. Um, What else? What else? Our... Tom and I's dating anniversary is also in September on the 26th. Um, we're going on our 11th year. I cannot believe I've been with this guy for 11 years, y'all. That's a long time. Um, 
not our marriage anniversary, it's our dating anniversary. It's just so crazy. But do you see my eye though? Like that blended out so nicely, you guys. I love it. But yes, fall, I'm so excited. Ugh, usually, like I said, I usually am not excited for fall, but I have really fun ideas for like fall decor, so I just, I can't wait. And I got like some really cute things from TJ Maxx. And oh, I also wanna go to Michael's. I haven't been to Michael's in like a month or so. Like it's been a long time since I've been at Michael's. And I just kinda wanna see what they have for fall decor. Um, they always have cute things. Now I wanna blend everything in together. So I'm gonna take this brush. And I don't have any like eyeshadow palettes from Laura Mercier, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bronzer. This is bronze number one, and I'm gonna use this to like blend out the edges. But yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I also mentioned I have a trip coming up in a few weeks, you guys. I'm going to New York with my friend Mary. Um, she was one of my bridesmaids, and I haven't seen her since. So it's been three years you guys she lives in hawaii so it's really you know it's far and i just haven't seen her in so long and i'm so excited to finally see her after such a long time um we're gonna go to new york we're going to generation beauty um we both got invited so we're like why not let's go let's meet together and go to the events together and just I don't know, soak in the city. Um, I also really love New York, so I'm so excited. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations about like places to see and things like that in New York, leave it in the comments below. I haven't been in New York in about a year, I believe. And yeah, I just, I'm so excited, y'all. So, so, so excited. Um, we're gonna go sightseeing as well after the events and stuff like that. We're there for, I think, four days or four nights, I believe. So we are there for a pretty long time. So it gives us lots of time to like catch up with each other and of course sightsee. I'm just so excited. Um, also, I have a question, you guys. I am thinking about getting lip injections. What do you guys think about that? Like, how do you feel about that? I only know one person personally that has done it. And I know like a lot of people um, on YouTube has done it, but I've always been curious. And like I said, I only know one person that's done it. It's actually Mary. And she says she likes it. And then, yeah, I'm thinking about getting it um, really soon. So let me know what you guys think. I just kind of want to try it out. I'm not going to do it like, you know, for the rest of my life. Um, I just really want to try it out one time and then if I like it, then I like it. But I'm not going to make it like a priority to like, oh my gosh, I have to get refills. You know what I mean? Um, I just really want to give it a go and, and see what it's all about. Um, I'm using a bigger fluffy, like a fluffier blending brush here to just really blend this out. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'm curious and also let me know if it's something you guys would like to see maybe in a vlog. Um, I can totally vlog it when I do go. Okay, I feel like this is a little, I feel like this is pretty. I like, I like the sultriness that I did there. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. This is actually a highlight. It's in Seduction. It's really dark. I can't wear this as a highlight. To me, it's like a really, it's just too dark for my complexion. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna dust. I'm gonna pop it like in the center of the lid. Yes, that's pretty. Just right in the center. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about lip injections and if you want me to vlog it when I do go get it done. I'm excited about it. I'm also very nervous, but I also want you guys' opinion about it. Like, what do you guys think? Is that something you want to see on the channel? If not, 
I totally understand. I'm thinking of vlogging it though. Um, but yeah, let me know. Okay, anyways, I don't have any powder from Laura Mercier except for my translucent. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that because I can't not set my face. I get really oily. So we're going to just set the face. Actually, I'm just going to set the center part of my face. Oh, I also wanted to talk about really quickly, in case you did not know, I am doing a giveaway um, here on the channel. I'll link it somewhere in the video or down below, but you should totally check it out. I have some really cool prices for you guys. Um, I really want to do a giveaway, like a monthly giveaway, but I have to like really think about it. And I don't want to like say I'm going to do it every month and then run out of stuff, you know what I mean? not be able to go forth with it so I need to think about it a little bit more and maybe plan it out and see but let me know what you guys think I think a monthly giveaway would be really fun alright so I don't have mascara from Laura Mercier I'm just gonna use whatever I have okay um, I actually have been using a primer lately you guys and I've been really liking that I feel like it really does a good job and like separating my lashes and making them look really long and this is what I've been using is the one from Givenchy this is the base mascara perfecto it is pink y'all it's pink even the product inside it's is pink like I die it's so pretty and to me it works making my lashes so long and it separates them as well um this weekend we're working on the laundry room which I'm so excited for, highlight. Um, and we're also gonna work on the coat closet that we're turning into kind of like um, our pet's closet. So the litter box is going in there, all the pet food, things like that. So I'm really, really excited to work on that, just to have all that stuff in one spot because it's kind of all over the place in our laundry room right now and there's like no more space in the laundry room because that takes up so much like they're big bags of food and whatnot that we always get so i'm excited to have a place to put all that um so i'm definitely gonna vlog that stuff and then i'm gonna obviously do like a full-on tour here on the main channel that's, that's coming up really soon i also need to do more organization and like have you guys switched over your wardrobe because all my stuff is still summer and yeah I definitely need to switch over onto like fall mode like all of my sweaters and jeans and things like that so I totally need to put away all my rompers dresses well not dresses maybe rompers shorts and like tank tops and things like that I totally need to put it away anyways I don't have a blush from Laura Mercier so I'm using this one from my um, Charlotte Tilbury palette. Um, just, I'm so excited for fall. I really, really want to do like a fall lookbook. Cross your fingers, that happens because I always want to do lookbooks. It's just hard. It's hard. Um, it's hard to film yourself. It's hard to have someone film you. I'm not used to other people filming me. But, um, I don't know, Tom has done it before, like he's helped me with videos before, but it's always so hard and I'm always so awkward and uh, it's just hard, okay? <laughs> Anyways, this is, I'm applying mascara, this is the L'Oreal Paradise mascara, it's seriously my favorite. I love it, it works so well with the primer that I use. Now onto the lips, I have lip balm on from earlier, I'm just gonna dab that away. I'm going to use this lip liner. It is in the color Plumberry. It's a really pretty color. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. Oh, I also wanted to ask, for those who are in the Wisconsin area, if you know of any like apple orchards or like maize places I don't know things to do for fall or during fall let me know down below I know there's a few like apple orchards by like going up towards Fish Creek but that's a little far um or we've been to those really um and also there's one I think past Milwaukee but it's a little far so if you guys know of any 
anything near like the Green Bay area, that would be amazing because I I just want to go and like I've always wanted to go and like pick apples and oh I love picking up pumpkins and doing the whole corn maze thing, like, hay rides, things like that. It's so fun in fall and I think that would be like really good setting for also like a lookbook maybe. Okay. So that is the lip liner. Look how pretty it is. It is like this really nice plummy berryish color, just like the name. Wow. <laughs> and then for the lipstick, I'm using this one. This is in the color Embrace from Laura Mercier. It's a really pretty nude. It's like a mauve nude. It's so pretty. I love this color. This is totally perfect for fall. Like, yes, that's this combination is life right now. I love it. And I think that's it, you guys. Am I done? I feel like that went by really quick. Let's see how long is the video. 26 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Finished look, you guys. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I do have some foundation on the sides here, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. 